What is happiness? Happiness is a word that is so commonly used that one has ceased to wonder what it really means in daily living. Contentment? Yes. But the word has so little significance without actual experience. After a great deal of thinking over the matter and experiencing, one probably cannot help but assume that happiness has really nothing to do with the pleasure that possessions and relationships might bring, however deep it may feel. Personally, I have to come to the conclusion that happiness really means so little and so much. Happiness means not expecting anything from anybody, not wanting anything from anybody. Genuine happiness ultimately turns out to be the absence of unhappiness. Unhappiness consists in not accepting the what is and creating and pursuing an illusory what should be. The core of a happiness in daily living is not the amount of pleasure one expects but the capacity to accept what is without creating and pursuing an imaginary what should be. In a verse in Ashtavakra Gita, Ashtavakra tells his disciple King Janaka, if you detach yourself from the identification with the body as the door of actions and remain relaxed in consciousness, you will, in this very moment, be happy, at peace, and free from bondage. What he, in effect, tells his disciple is that he has wrongly identified himself as the individual door of all actions that happen through the body-mind organism and thus assumed the responsibility for all actions. This is the root of unhappiness in daily living, a burden of guilt and shame for one's actions. What Ashtavakra tells his disciple is to witness all that happens in life as something that has to happen according to God's will or the cosmic law. No one need to be blamed for anything. With this deep understanding, one can only do whatever one thinks one should do in a given situation and thereafter merely witness whatever happens but not as one's own action. In other words, one witnesses the flow of life and therefore remains relaxed and happy. But what the ordinary man wants is to stop the movie of life at a particular still that is then considered to be happiness. The ordinary man does not see change as life itself, just as the flow is really the river. The root of the problem of insecurity in daily living is the fact that one fails to really see that change is an integral aspect of life. The only way to make sense out of change is to join it, either plunge into life and welcome change as the spice of life, or resist and set oneself against oneself and be frustrated. The root of frustration for man is the fact that he lives not in the present moment, but for the illusory future, which is only a creation of the mind, a mere influence based on memory, an abstraction at best. It is obvious that the brain, with its fantastic memory bank, is an absolute necessity in order to live in this world. One cannot, however, ignore the whole mind because that is the basic universal consciousness. Human beings need both the brain thinking and the intuitive wisdom to lead a well-balanced, harmonious life. But what mankind has done is to allow the brain thinking to develop so fast that intuitive wisdom has been almost forgotten. The problem is that man cannot be happy even if the present moment provides him with everything he wants. He must have a future, a secure future, and yet he knows that the future does not stop with the achievement of any particular goal. The tragedy of this situation is that he cannot even really enjoy that which is presently available to him in ample measure. Only a true understanding of the whole matter which would make him a man of understanding would permit him a total uninhabited enjoyment of what is available in the present moment. The ordinary man is not able to accept what is and is unhappy. He wants pleasure but not pain. Whereas the duality of pleasure and pain, along with all other dualities, is the very basis of life and its functioning. True happiness can exist only in a clean and pure mind, purity being totally independent of any conceptual morality that is free of both experimental scars and burdens of expectation, a mind alert enough to be receptive to any communion from the source. The key to the situation is 
do whatever you think you should do for the comfortable future and then stay in the present moment therefore the ultimate prayer would be oh lord please give me a state of mind in which i shall not want anything at all not even from you according to god's will or the cosmic law and one's destiny it can bring about happiness with oneself and in relationships 